All right, let's go off the record for just a minute. The nation has a big problem, and this should worry you regardless of your political party. President Obama has lost his mojo. Yes, he came to office with very little experience, but he had that incredible power to inspire. America was rooting for him. Even his political opponents could not help but be inspired. He was exciting. America, we cannot turn back. Not with so much work to be done. Not with so many children to educate and so many veterans to care for. Not with an economy to fix and cities to rebuild and farms to save. That power to inspire is a potent political weapon. If used effectively, you can get people from deep, people with very deep differences to work together. But now, that's not happening. President Obama's lost his mojo. Frankly, he's depressing. He shows no fire in his belly, no passion to solve issues. If he hasn't the passion, why would anyone else? He almost sounds like he's just given up. At this point, my goal every single day is just to make sure that uh, I can look back and say, we're delivering something, not everything, because uh, this is a long haul. And his team taking the lead from him is just as bad. Uh, we have been calling on the Afghan government to uh, sign the agreement for some time now. This has given them that option that they didn't used to have. I'm excited about the opportunities that this bill provides in terms of the issue of climate. Wow, those press briefings feel like a funeral home viewing. They are collectively sinking the nation's morale. Now, when that happens, it becomes every man for himself. People grabbing whatever they can, exemptions, waivers, special deals, you name it. It is the me attitude, and that's bad for the nation. It doesn't help that President Obama blames his woes on others, Fox News, Congress, Tea Party, Republicans. He needs to knock that off. That's not leadership. Those are excuses. Even his own party is dispirited by him. His national poll rating sinking from 67 percent to now 42 percent. The nation's not happy with him. If he wants to turn that around and inspire the nation to work together, despite those deep political differences, he needs to get his mojo back. We can't do that for him. He needs to do it, but he's got to try. And that's my off-the-record comment tonight. 